hello, hello. Is the sound working? Maybe it is. So, welcome guys to my uh, task section of TAS. Uh, this is going to be um, a bit unplanned, I suppose. I have a few things that I'm going to show you, but um, a lot of it will also be like your reactions in the chat, and I'm going to uh, respond to your questions and stuff. Uh, so, to begin with, uh, a task, tool assisted speedrun, is a um, it's a speedrun made with an emulator. You go frame by frame to uh, pretty much simulate a perfect human player to go as fast as possible in theory. So uh, with this you get different emulators. This is one for the SNES, this and NES, FCAX. So there are many different platforms you can do this runs, oh, but not all of them. Like for new games, uh, PS4, Xbox One, it's not possible, it will likely never be. But for older games, like NES, NES it's uh, it's pretty good. So right here you have uh, the frame counter, and well, you can see my in input presses as well. Hopefully, I don't know how it looks on the stream, but yeah. So I, I'm going to show you some basic stuff. So if you play the game normally, it's not perfect like anything. Like th this would be a bad speed on as well. But it, you go pretty fast, I'm dying on purpose. On, oops. on a task, it's in ongoing slow motion, frame by frame. Try to put out the hole in my beer button because you want to run all the time. So you go like this pretty much. Uh, and now I have a lot of different values. I don't know if they can see it on the screen right now. I got uh, the memory values of the game. Like things like speed, position, and everything that help me uh, to optimize my movement. So let's go through a quick guide like to how, how to find things like that. Uh, so right now, I'm standing still. You can see that X speed says zero here. So if I... Uh... Oh wait. I forgot to tell you that I was going to bring up this one. <laughs> I don't know if this uh, shows on the screen right now, but yeah, it is, okay. So here I have all the different uh, memory values in the game. That tracks like everything. It's so, like, let's say if you want to find the speed. I'm standing still, so the speed is equal to specific value zero. I shouldn't probably go through this one at once, but yeah, I, I'll do it anyway, because this is unplanned stuff, so whatever. Yeah, there you can't read the text, okay, sorry. So now if I move forward, Mario has speed right now, so the value can't be zero. So I search for anything that is not equal to zero. Now you can see I only got seven possibilities left. And you can pretty much sort them out. I'm standing still now. These values are moving. This can't be right. So I delete them. Now I only got two of these left. So this one, Mario still moving. He's slowing down and slowing down. And I want to say, so I know that this one is the default one for the speed, so that's what I'm going to use. And then when you save it, you can watch the speed all the time. And that is very cru crucial for this run. To know the speed. Uh, but yeah, that was uh, a quick show with that one. I go into more detail later with the, the memory watch, I suppose. Uh, So uh, I'm going to go back to this game later on to show you some stuff from it. As I'm uh, going to show a uh, a run that me and Lord Tom are working on with this category, uh, with this game rather. But at first, I'm going to show you some other runs and to explain them. Uh, so here is a link to the past. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to show you a test that I made of this game a while ago. And then I'm going to replay it again and explain like what's going on and stuff. Uh, and you will like to see me uh, test uh, for my product 101%, 100% in Super Mario Bros. 3. To like show you how I'm going to optimize stuff. But here I have a link to the pause run. Uh, also, these, uh, these tasks, they, inc they um, oh, what's the name? They, they contain uh, all the input presses that are made in the game. And these ones you can open up and see as well. 
okay, this is good and unplanned stuff. Oh, lovely. You can't because this one is awful. Wow. Okay, I'm going to do a quick test if this is working or not. Oh no, this looks awful. Uh, yeah, I'll drop that one. But anyway, when you test the game, you, you only add input to the game. You don't, you never modify the game, you never use siege codes or anything. It's only input presses. So right now this one is 2 minutes and 13 seconds long, or 8000 frames. So I'm going to replay this one now. And here you see how long the movie is and the run they're going in the lag frames. Yeah, Warp, I, I used Warp on instead, but I didn't care for it right now. I might show it you guys later. So, um, th this test in, uh, aims to beat the game as fast as possible, using any glitches and everything you can use. I'm going to go into it more in depth when uh, you've seen it first. Uh, so this uh, program is called SNES 9X V-Recording. It's a uh, test-modified emulator used for testing. And all these emulators and things you can find on testvideos.org. Oh, whoops. I was supposed to pause the video, but yeah. So it's like he, he's spinning back and forth all the time. And shoo-hoo! Hyperjump. So, uh, I'm going to explain this. <laughs> bye Ganon, bye Ganon. And you beat the game. So, uh, this is kind of the quickest task for beating this game. It takes two minutes. Uh, if some people are used to the um, Alien to the Power speedruns, you may know that the record is 1 minute and 41 seconds. And this task was 2, two minutes and 13 seconds. And that makes no sense because tasks should be faster, right? Well, the thing is, uh, we use different timing compared to most the um, speedruns use. All tasks start from resetting the game, powering on the game, until the last input you need to beat it. So here at the end, there's a lot of text going on. Uh, whoa, where's the pause button on this one? Wait, I need to set up my hotkeys here. This would be so much nicer if I had my own uh, computer and keyboard, but whatever. <laughs> um, oh, I want those. I need uh, Primus, right? Uh, there we go. Okay. So there's a lot of text uh, at the end of the game that um, is part of the task input file. But that's why I'm sp using fast forward right now. So it keep playing, but uh, but I've ended my uh, frame count. So anyway, I'm going to replay this file, this movie, to explain what's going on. So, normal movement in this game. You can see my input presses, I think, as well. Write them down. There are a lot of uh, task only things like uh, that only a Tula Shit Speedrun can do. Okay, butters, it's that hard to see the numbers. I can't see there, like, uh, in the stream, so I don't know how it looks like. But I'll try to explain it, like. So, in this game, if you're in a narrow path, like a doorway, you can press left, right and up, and Link will be boosted a few pixels to speed up the movement. And normal movement in this game, when you walk forward, you move 1 and 2 pixels every frame. Yeah, I know you can't see it right now, but it says 250, and then go to 248, 46, 44. Two frames each, two pixels each frame. And I don't know if you can see my movement here, but I'm switching between up and up down at the same time. Which will make, make Link switch which way it's facing. This speeds up my movement a little bit. 
You can also do this when you're walking against the wall and push against the wall. And here's where the weird things start to happen. So first off, uh, if you have a diagonal wall, you can clip into it slightly by moving pixels up and down. And when you're inside the wall and press against it, Link can warp for some reason. A few pixels up. And that puts him into this wall. And then the long jump here. Uh, when you jump off a cliff, cliff the game checks for uh, like uh, one can link, where can Link land this one. And right now his angle is straight up to the walls of rocks here. And you can't land on a rock. And you can't land on the fence here. So the angle you go is basically around like this. And the first place you can land on is up on the wall. So that's nice. Uh, and also two different uh, layers in the game. Two different background layers. First you got the bottom part right here. As this is not a nice tool in the... Um, the emulator, you can switch between uh, like what you want to see. Like, our oh, walls, get out of here. It's right on, my, on, on the wrong layer, so... Link is walking basically in mid-air. And this is considered a cliff that you can jump off. And now Link jumps back onto, onto the right layer. And that is going to be important later on with the layers. And now I can remove this. So Link is... Going back into the door here. If you go too far to the left corner, the game will also think that you are on the far right. I think Link will show up here. There he is. And this messes up the camera in the game. To make Link like... The game believes that he is somewhere else. So when you go to the right... I'm right now on a completely different screen. Than uh, the game thinks I am. And all the, all the rooms in the game are a part of uh, like one big map. So technically you can go with glitches or cheat codes, you can go through the wall up here. And there's a room here that's part of the big map. And with glitches you can abuse that to reach rooms that you're not supposed to. So to the left door where I'm at, or where I'm at right now is the room where Ganon is in. It's very nice that they put the, the rooms that close to each other so you can abuse it to beat the game quickly. And when you beat Ganon, like here's the, the entryway when you beat Ganon. And you go straight up, you go to the Triforce room, which basically beats the game. Yeah, basically. I don't have the map up right now, but it, it shows... Shows like... Uh, part of it. Anyway, that, that was really quick, quick with this game. Uh, and I'm going to show you something completely different. Uh, all tasks don't aim to beat the game as fast as possible. There are some games that, some rounds that aim to be like entertainment instead. So this is a family feud. This is a quiz game, like if you know the, the show. And you can't really beat this fast, like it really points us. So instead, you do something different. Oh crap, uh, wrong emulator. Uh, hang on. I forgot this was with the old emulator, not the new one. A small one? I don't know. Okay. So, these emulators, I think you can see them both. Anyway, this is an older version of this, uh, this SNES emulator. And uh, the emulators keep being improved all the time, so if you use an old emulator, your movie might not work with the new ones. So anyway. This is a family feud task done by uh, Heisen Evil Genius. <laughs> and this will be a bit uh, a bit different compared to like beating game fast. I got to let this uh, task speak for itself pretty much. Oh, 
Oh, without my blanket. I can put my blanket on. But it's way too hot in here, so I'm going to die. So, for those who don't know, uh, like, this this TV show, you get a question, like, out of 100 people show it, the top 20 asks board. <laughs> Baker. <laughs> so, I'm going to pause the emulator here, uh, so you can see what's going on. So, yes, and have to name an occupation that begins with the letter B. So beaver and duck expert. <laughs> like this is not a real uh, occupation, but the way game makes this is, if the occupation is part of uh, the sentence, it can be B A N X or something. Then the game will count it as a correct uh, entrance in the the game. <laughs> so this one uh, is banker apparently. <laughs> I guess I'll stop you doing bank and getting it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I think the real challenge is, is like guessing what the real job is from what is being typed. Indeed. Right, okay. Gotta be quick. <laughs> but for <laughs> See, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, these are uh, so weird. <laughs> so, f for some games that it can be really quickly, they might not be entertaining to watch. And a part of the uh, tourist speedrunning at task videos is to make them, to make them fun, to make them entertainment. That's why a lot of tasks is also aimed for only uh, entertainment and not speed. <laughs> <laughs> of course, he is writing the uh, the names as fast as he can, but it isn't the fastest like name you can write or the answer rather. <laughs> so this is another way, nice way you can like abuse how the game uh, is programmed. And uh, for some games you will, like want to figure out how enemy, <laughs> enemy manipulation works, that and you can go into some details into the ROM to like find out. <laughs> and oops, I pressed it. This uh, <laughs> speed limit. It's a common like sentence when they mess up in the TV show. Oh yeah. So yeah, this one is kind of weird. And yeah, the faces are... Uh, <laughs> so bad. No smoking. Ooh, yeah. got this, we got this. <laughs> In fact, the le letters. The letters in the order. Yeah. <laughs> ah. And there are some like different ones. Yes, there's a ton of extra letters. Still fine. Yeah. It's a fun ex. Probably yeah. typing too quickly. Probably yeah. Extra letters. Probably a typo. So upcoming now is uh, is swimsuit and bath suit. Like the game can uh, accept. <laughs> <laughs> the game accepts like the, 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 the different uh, different ones. So I think this one will come up now. Oh, okay, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> ah, 
<laughs> sure. <laughs> I think the host is biased. <laughs> so, like the usual one. The game check FWI M suit. So, swim suit. <laughs> but uh, the, the game has uh, like several um, different ones. So, that's a bathing suit. <laughs> so, uh, it, it doesn't take the exact right word, as that would be too hard to do. But uh, you, you, you get the idea from this one. This is not PG-13, right? No, it isn't. <laughs> so, uh, <Not> more. <laughs> I'm pausing this one and I'm moving on to something else. I'm not sure if you're going to need a SNES on uh, X anymore, at this one at least. <laughs> That's not crazy. Uh, oh crap, I didn't bring my stuff that I needed. Brain training? Oh, yeah, the brain training one. Okay, oh, hang on, yeah. I need to go to YouTube and find it. <laughs> I thought I had said it already. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can. Oh, wow. Good day. <laughs> it's a perfect one, okay. Uh, so, this is a brain aids task by Ryuto. <laughs> And uh, this one is a bit strange as well. Similar concept, yeah. There's this math challenge in the game where you have to uh, write the right number. So 5 plus 5, 10. But he's not going to write numbers because that sucks. Yeah. So this is uh, just a YouTube video because I, couldn't, I didn't manage to play it on the emulator, so. But this is just great. <laughs> oh, YouTube sound too high? I'm turning down a bit. So this is how you learn math in school, you know. <laughs> Yay, happy birthday. So here's some math. And the goal here is to uh, learn to name everything you see. Yeah, he's the sheriff. Yeah. <laughs> well, I never thought about that one. Uh, what is happening is that I'm watching a two speed speedrun of this game that uh, abuses how the game works to make an entertainment task, pretty much. So the way this one works is uh, something he makes in the picture looks like 13 based on how the game uh, like knows what you're ri writing. So th there are no sheet codes involved like make the puzzle anyway. So th this is something you can do on console as well. Yeah, if you can draw well enough. Yeah, draw well enough. <laughs> I think you're underestimating math. Math is good. Yeah, I'm on YouTube right now. 
because I, you can play this one on the emulator as well, but it desynced for me because I didn't, I couldn't find the right emulator version. So, um, but I wanted to show this one because it's quite funny. Yeah, I'm streaming YouTube. <laughs> Anyone can go and watch it, but yeah, uh, I'm streaming YouTube. Hmm. So if you want to watch it again, you can go there to learn some proper math. Yeah. Right. I like that one though. Well, I did the math degree and this looks pretty legit to me. <laughs> A plus. Yeah, they drew that. Yeah, they drew that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In about three seconds. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, probably you probably don't need to learn adding. <laughs> 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 Hello, the Dayglow, with the Tampa Z, my uh, Twitch emote. Uh, this was played with the Desmoom emulator, a DS emulator. You can find all the emulators in these tests that I'm showing. I can't the map. On uh, testvideos.org. <laughs> Some of these are pretty good. <laughs> anyway, after this one I'm going to uh, sell a test that's aiming for speed. Which is... Has been a secret to everyone so far. So it's gonna be nice, I hope. It's a bit too long, I think, for 100, 100 pictures. Yes, I'm going to test uh, on stream. Uh, me and Lord Tom have been working on uh, Super Mario Brothers 3 100%. And I'm going to uh, to test that one live soon. Yeah, it, it's soon done, Sebastian. I might as well show it all. It's soon. Oh, it might. Oh, it's over a minute. It's a test block and test control. I, like I'm, I'm just showcasing what tests are and how they can look. I'm going to do some testing myself soon. But there are only ten left. Too bad, fire, fire blizzard. It won't happen. Uh, it's only Nintendo characters though, I think, with a few exceptions. Okay, this is the last one, and then we're done. There you go. So anyway, SMB3. Uh, well, the, the, our current uh, like, task that we're doing for this game it's kind of long, it's 37 minutes long, so I don't think I'm going to show it all. But I will... Uh, I'll show you the... Uh, the last world that we're working on. Let's see here, uh, do like this. Don't die. Anyway, this is one. Now I really hope that I have a safe date that's supposed to work with this. Okay, nice. So I've skipped uh, a lot of time. Also, whenever you make... I'm, I'm replaying a video right now. But whenever you want, you can stop the movie replay and then continue playing from there, where you are. That's really... Wait, very nice. Uh, no, wrong one. Wrong one. Okay, I'm going to show you two levels. For this one, and then I'm going to continue testing from this project live for you guys. So let's see. This is something I did a week ago, pretty much. So this is a little sneak peek for uh, this run. It's not done yet, so... And it's it's way too long to show you all of it. Uh, so in this game, there are a lot of auto scrollers that you can play. And then naturally in a task you have to do something entertainment while waiting. Sometimes it can be hard though. But let's see, what do you think? I don't know. 
If you hit a block, uh, the same frame you can hit it, the first frame you can hit it, it will turn a different color, blue in this case. So as you can't push forward uh, onto the screen, I just fell around with stuff. When I'm testing the game, I'm going to explain some more what's going on with the movements and stuff. But this is just one fooling around. If you have the leaf, you can do a lot of more entertainment stuff, but uh, it wastes too much time. So anyway, this is where my test is up right now, I mean Lord Tom's. So I'm going to continue re-recording right now. Uh, so now I'm recording my input. It won't say, on some emulators it will say that you're recording. And this one there's a blue, a uh, blue, I can't, I call it blind. There's a red uh, dot in there. So, now I'm going frame by frame. I'm waiting for this guy to go, to go up and back, and then I know that it's my turn to play. So moving forward frame by frame, making a save state, checking if, I, if, if we can move. I want to go one frame. If we can't, I go to the next one. I don't know if they can see uh, the frame number down here. It says uh, 46 right now. So I'm trying to press right on 47. It didn't work. Loading back my save state, going forward one, making a save state, pressing right on 48 instead. No. Loading, frame one, save state, 49, no. Until you get it. So now I want to fight these uh, hammer butters. And now both of them jumped up. Th that is bad. You can change the, uh, the manipulation by uh, depending on which frame you enter the fight. So now I'm entering one frame later on. Same as well. 52. There we go. I want one of them to be at the bottom and that one top. So this is something I'm going to work with right now to see what I can do with it. So I'm setting out the hole on the B button. Uh, that's mainly because I haven't got enough fingers and uh, most keyboards can't hold too many buttons at the same time. Where are extra fingers come from, please? I would love to have them. So the goal here is to, to kill this as fast as possible. And the lower one I'm going to shoot with the fireball, so I'm releasing the B button in one frame. Just a second, he dies. Then I don't know what I can do like, like that. And then I want to jump up and kill the other one. I can go beneath him, but then he will fly up in the air before it starts falling down, and that takes longer than uh, to land on him instead, so that's where, what we're going to do. So I got to show, show, I have a different uh, frame checks. Right now I'm going to check uh, which frame the, the chest will appear. There you go. At 598. Then I'm going to make a save state at that frame. And I'm going to try to improve it. So we want to jump up on the uh, the top hem butter. So right now I'm, I'm too low, I can't jump on him because my height isn't enough. So I need to increase my speed. The more speed you get, the higher you can jump, or certain numbers at least. For this one I know that at 32. I don't think you can see it right now, but my speed is 32 right now. And uh, starting from 32 up to uh, 45, or what is it? 46? 48, I mean, rather. Uh, my uh, jump is increased, so. But if I push, if I keep holding right, he will jump into the block and lose all the speed. It says speed here right now, and I won't be able to land on him. So what I want to do is to move back to the left. And now I want to hit the blocks at least. But I also want to hit the, the hammer brother. I can also use a fireball to kill him. Release B, fireball. 
Oh, whoops. Oh, I uh, jumped into the hammer. I won't do that. But a uh, hammer has the same, a uh, fireball has the same effect as if you hit him from below. It's because he goes straight up. I want him to fall directly. So we still want to land on him. Uh, now I know from previous Hammer Rider's fights that uh, when you go back to the left until the speed is 16, that is good enough to keep on going to the right. Then I have to release my jump button so I can start falling earlier. And we can see if we can uh, get him. No. Okay, if I do not, don't do anything right now, I'll land him in at frame 514. I'm going to save that as well. Then try to land on, on him slightly earlier. If it's possible. Till 4 again. Okay. I might be able to optimize that even more. But I'm going to compare when the chest is appearing this time. I got 5.86. Last time I got 5.98. So this is a 12 frames improvement. So I'm going to save that one instead as my. Uh, my best number so far. Oops. I lost my save state, so I have to make some new ones. Uh. So what I want to do is to hit on hit on thirteen instead of uh, fourteen. What I'm doing right now is to change my uh, my jump and my speed. My jump with a Y. And that was another 14. I don't like 14. 14 is bad. Then again, it might not even matter because of different things I'm going to explain soon. Yeah, I don't think I can beat uh, 14 right now with this. So let's go with 14. And to avoid getting killed by the hammer. So 14. Don't uh, buy the hammer. No. Oops. So, and I keep messing up and have no save state, I have to go back to my old save states. I'm really bad at uh, save state management. So, continue playing again. Now I have to grab the chest as early as possible. So I'm going to take some... Uh... Oh yeah, if you're too far on the left, the chest will spawn on the right side instead. That will be slower, as I can't reach that one as quickly. So I'm moving more to the right. There we go. But now I didn't reach the chest at, one, at once. Like, like I, I want to be on the chest right now. But I didn't. So I got it at 13. Let's make a save it. Then go back. Set a different frame to uh, go to the left. No. No. Yes. See if we can make it better than it was before. There we go. Two frames saved. <laughs> uh, this emulator is FCUX. It's an NES emulator. Now I'm going to stand still to check the uh, the manipulation with the Ham Brothers. As uh, I'm not sure if you can see uh, this one that says RNG. It's a random number generator number. Each frame you see it's hopping all over the place. And this one determines a lot of things in the game, like um, 
where the Ham Brothers are going. Right now, I can hear the move. And I can want to check. They're both here. Uh, I want to fight the Ham Brothers as early as possible, really. And uh, have the move as little, as little bit as possible each time. So let's say I beat another level. This one can go either down or to the left. He can't stand on a level, so he go another step to uh, two steps to the left. So that would be a two movement. I wanted to move only once. So next time, unless he's not going down, that would be a, a reset, load a save state, and change the RNG. And the only way, only way to change it is to uh, either be faster or slower in this game. Uh, the manipulation is very different in each game. Like in in some games. Um, it depends on your, imp imp uh, your input input presses. I can't speak like always. Your input presses. And this game is only based on the frame counter. There's nothing you can do to change that. So, but I can hear that movement. That movement all at once. So I know that this was the best RNG I can get. Which means I'm going to move on to the next level. First, I'm going to see you want to press. I can just hold it down as well. But if I keep holding it out, more will pause on the next one until it keeps going. So move one, then I have to time the other one as quick as possible. That one. <coughs> so that's one level done. Another thing in this game. This one here, it says X sub. That is my X position sub pixel value. If I move forward, it's, it's changing all the time. And that address, that value, is based on my speed and position of the camera. So if I have speed 1, this will increase my X sub pixel by 1. And um, uh, this X, uh, X sub pixel value is uh, based on the, the 16 bit. Oh, not 16 bit. The 1 byte value. Uh, wait, I can't. What's the word? I can't even speak English. This is too hard. I speak Swedish instead. Um, but each time you move, it will change the X sub pixel value. And when this one reaches 256, so next one it will reach 256, which means my X position will be increased by 1. So it's uh, basically a more accurate, 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 wow, a way of positioning myself on the screen. And this value also, the X sub value, is carrying over between the levels. Right now it says 224. That's the value I ended the last the last level with. And I want this to be as high as possible to give me a, a head start. As uh, the higher the number is, the further to the right on the screen I am. So let's go back to hand this fight. Another thing, it's not like standing still. That's not fun. You, you want like to do something you don't wait in time. So I'm going to grab the chest again. And then we're going to fool around and like and this is where you have, um, you can do like whatever you want as a tasser to find something entertainment to do while waiting. So at this one, there's not much you can do. You can destroy these blocks, but that's pretty much it. So let's build up my P speed meter, so I can uh, tools menu. Okay, uh, there are different tools you can do in the uh, with the emulator when tassing. You can of course use sheet codes to. Uh, Oh crap. To uh, like test different things. But this one is the RD sheet address. If I want to, to check a uh, different RD value. Let's say fart, it's not. Uh, <laughs> uh, fart is speed in Swedish, so. Uh, <laughs> I'll say it's that speed instead. And also the cloud. Uh, sometimes I want to check the, the Helm Brothers movement to see what they are. And I can't go like to the right of the screen right now. Sometimes I use the cloud sheet code to go through levels to see. Oh hey, where are they going? Is this good a place or not? And the speed value can be used for other things as well to test stuff with. And these I don't know which one they are. And then there's the uh, the ROM certs, read only memory. Not read read, not only memory. But that's ROM, whatever. Uh, that has all the, uh, the different values in the game. The one? Isn't it random access memory or something? Oh, there are so many different ones, so... Uh, 
like I, I only use uh, the memory watch and cheat code sometimes to test things. Then there is uh, Lua scripts as well. You can uh, program different stuff in the game to help you out when testing to see things on the screen like in 10 frames where is this enemy going to be and uh, uh, like more detailed things. It, it's, it, it can be like this but uh, it's more details and it's... I never used Lua scripting so I don't know much about it personally. But it's, it's used frankly. Frankly? Frequently? Let's load back. So there are many different tools you can use. But the end product is, product is only input presses. Let's try to do something fancy here. And I'm really bad at doing like entertainment things while waiting. I don't like it. I like to go fast, I like to save the frames. That's the only thing I care for. So yeah, we broke some blocks. Uh, and now the level is ending, and you can see that I have um, 176 uh, sub value. And I want this to be 240. So I'm going to. Oh, that was freaking easy. So I'm going to end with 240, and it, that gives me a head start in the next level. Uh, yeah, there's a task editor. Which. Uh, here you can see my input presses for the whole run. This is the frame counter. Like here, I pressed A. Oh, whoa, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> so you can uh, modify my tasks. Like if if I found some improvement early on in the task, I don't want to uh, redo the whole thing. Uh, there are ways to modify your task to, um, to change input presses earlier on and then save it. But in some cases, that will do sync because it changes the, uh, the randomness value and other things. This won't always work out that well. Nope, I don't want to change. Cha so let's leave the, the tests out for now. Okay, now I have good amount of placing for the Hammond Brothers. I get the, the highest X sub value, which means I'm going to go to the next level now. Hauling B. So let's see what we can do with this one. I want to modify my uh, my jump to land on both blocks. There we go. And if you land on both of them at the same time, you can get uh, a boost enough to uh, jump over this wall here. Otherwise, this one one block doesn't give you uh, give it the whole way up. And also, when have the fly fire flower try to like kill enemies with it. Yeah, kill that guy. Well. Bye. Another thing that's important about this game is the, the P-meter. If you run... You see here down here that it's going up and down. But I didn't get any P-meter. The way this one works is... When you have 40 speed and run on land, this p minute value is going up one. And when this one, next p is written zero, it's checking again, is he standing on the ground? Is he having 40 speed? Yes, I have 40 speed. Which means the p minute is going to go up another one. Well, another two in this case. But in the next case, I do have speed 40, but I don't have, uh, I'm in the middle air right now. So this will drop right now because it can't increase. And this, uh, this one is complicated things about testing this game. As when you have the P meter maxed out, you're running faster. So we want to uh, try to get the P speed meter up. So that's what we're going to work on right now. So if you land on the block here, it will go up by one. But as soon as you hit uh, midair, it goes bye bye again. So we want to land after this block instead, so we can stay on the ground as fast as possible. 
Uh, the circle is flying around the screen. What circle? What is? Oh yeah, <laughs> the eye tracking device. I forgot that. I forgot about that one. See, so yeah, they have a, a program set up to see what I'm looking at. So I'm going to jump over this block and land as early as possible after it. So now I'm landing on 08 because my P meter is increasing by one. But I might be able to modify my jump to land earlier. Depending on my uh, X subpixel, no, my Y subpixel mm -hmm. value rather. I think, don't think I can. Oops, let's do this, this one. Okay, I'll land early at least. So let's see if it happens if we keep going. I lost it at once because the next frame, I'm in mid-air, which means I can't increase my P-Miner. This means I ha we have to modify it somehow. What you can do is to um, decrease the speed. Right now, I got one. But now I'm decreasing my speed. I'm holding left. And now speeding up again. This means I'm losing speed, this means I'm further to the left. And that way I can... Right now I did the same thing, but I lost some speed, so I was further, one pixel further to the left. And that puts me in, in um, on the platform for this frame to increase my P-Miner. So if you keep going now, got up to 7, and BAM! It died. Then you can re repeat the same thing. Either to be faster or to be slower to um, trying to um, get it right. Right now, right now I'm just going to test different things. So I believe you can. Uh, I'm increasing my jump height every frame until I won't land on it anymore. Um, oh yeah, this is very intense. Slow paced passing. <laughs> this is one of the nerdiest things you can do. Uh, the shaky thing is um, they are testing an eye tracking device right now. To like see where I'm, what I'm looking at, so I believe the circle is going to be right, right here, right now. I don't know how it works. I can't see it personally, so. But the P meter is the most annoying part about testing this game sometimes, as you want to increase the speed as quickly as possible. And that uh, requires some uh, thinking sometimes. And right now I don't know how to do this part of my... The cute cloud! Oh, the cute cloud up in the level. Um. Hi Kira, by the way. Uh, Kira is a real-time speedrunner for this game and he currently has the 100% the record for this. Want to work out. Uh, like the real time speedruns are better at this game than I am sometimes. As they have a method to get P speed up here, but I have no clue how they do it. So right now I can get up to, to 15, but it's still not close enough. If I'm gonna cross side, oh my, I have no idea. We'll find out. Hmm. Right now I'm going to land as early as, 
uh, as far to the left as possible. While still being able to increase my uh, my PSP meter. No. That one sucks. By the way, are you guys keeping track of like the time for this? It's uh, 55 minutes so far. Oh, okay. So I don't plan to use uh, all of the two hours I get for this. You want to finish the game? Finish the game, anyway. Yeah, I've been working on this since... Um, like November, October last year or something. Uh, this is a task section, TAS. Staff of Tula City Speedrun. With the goal of beating games as fast as possible. Hmm. Yeah, sometimes I have, like have an idea how to uh, how to build up the PSP, but right now I don't know. So I'm just thinking. Uh, let's redo this from the beginning. This is how people make tasks. Uh, then it depends on the game, like uh, what it takes to uh, to make the task. But making a test of this game will take a year for this category. I have some memory that you're supposed to, that you can just run and get peace speed anyway. Repeating, repeating, and then I uh, drop down. Hello, Ravasia. Tampa Bay or Tampa Boy. Yeah, testing is a bit tedious sometimes. There's more into it than most people think. Like a lot of people just think, oh, it's you just use seed codes and that's it, you're done with the game. But uh, that's not really the case. Like some people think it's cheating in, in general to to speed on games this way. I think it's a it's a completely different category with different games. Like the, the goal of a task is not to brag at, oh, I beat the game fast. Look how good I am at the game. It's to to show like how fast can a game be when everything is perfect. Like if it's a human robot at the uh, the share. You can compare it to uh, a live recording of a, a live perform uh, performance of a, a song, like Metallica doing something live. Oh, that's cool. That's a that's a real time speedrun. Then Metallica is doing a studio recording of the same song, where they modify everything to to sound as good as possible. That's pretty much a task. But no one ever says, "Oh, it's a studio recording, cheating." People don't do it because it's more known. People know what it is. People know how it's made. I'm cheating all the time. Look, cheats. <laughs> uh, so right now, what I'm, my plan is to uh, to get the P meter up. This one up to P. Because that increases my speed. And doing that is, uh, is painful. Okay, well, I don't plan to be here for two hours hello. playing this. Okay, do you want to finish a half seven? Or? Hello, hello, hello. I guess. Can, can anyone hear you me? Sound upset. I'm no, I'm, still still here. I'm so warm. It's so hot in here. Thick is hot. So right now, I'm, I'm decreasing my speed to land as far as to, to the left as possible, and then I'll see what I can do with that. Oh, the randomness value. Uh, well, it depends on uh, like the game. Um. 
I can show uh, like his paint instead. Okay, let's say I don't know this one. I have no clue what the randomness is. What you can do is... You have to find out something like the, what kind of things are depending on the randomness. And one thing I know is the, the hand rider. So you went to the right. I'm going to... Oh crap. Let's redo this again. Okay, if I die at frame... That was 98. Oh, I speed it, but he went to the right at least. And then I die at the second frame to see if something different happens. That. Oh, two frames later. Same again. Then you keep trying until you get a different result. Then you know that that, that, that something has changed. It makes no sense right now, now. Let's see, if it goes to the right. At frame 3565, he moves to the right. Let's make a save set that there. And then, oh crap. This is so unprepared and bad. Uh, okay, let's redo this one. I'm going to take another one instead. I'm so bad at making a save state when I'm supposed to and keep them when I'm not. <sighs> I'm bad at passing. I'm bad at like explaining what I'm passing. I'm not used to it. <laughs> I, d I just wanted to stand next to the flower. I see it's easier to, uh, to choose which frame you want to die on. Or not. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Dying at 87. You go to the right. Dying at 89. To the left. Then I know that uh, there has to be a different randomness value when he starts going to the left. So what you can do is you can comp compare the two. And right now, my, my safety aren't accurate enough to compare this. As it has to be uh, at the moment when the when it starts moving, a standard number will be different. But you can compare these two safe state with a memory watch to see like uh, it's supposed to be not equal to the previous value. Like if I change these ones, they're not equal. So let's see what it, what. It, what? Why? This makes no sense. Okay, oh, no, it does make sense. So now I've removed a lot of the uh, different values, so I got 71 left. So, after that rough test, I have 71 different values that can be the randomness. So then you have to like keep going, that again, compared to save states, to see if the randomness is different. Oh, I'm good at this game. But uh, you, you keep com comparing two values to uh, like sort out. It can't be this value. Let's remove this value. And it can't be that one. It can't be that one until you have a handful left. And then you can tell like, oh, there has to be one of those. And normally our, our randomness values, it's not a timer like this one. It's going to jump between different numbers, as you can see on this one here. It doesn't follow anything. It's just crazy. <laughs> but uh, finding different addresses can uh, can be kind of hard, especially the randomness. I'm personally really bad at finding, finding randomness in games. Uh, yeah, it takes many months to do. Uh, for example, I have a, a link to the past task. It's uh, one hour and 60 minutes in uh, game time, and it took me about six months to do. And then I have... Um, I mean, this cap one is one hour and 48 minutes, I think. That took me 11 months to do. And my glitch selling to the past test took me two days. So it's, it depends on the game, how long it is, how much effort you put into it. Like, I can, I can test this level in one minute, but it will be really bad. So you, you keep have to check for things to improve in it all the time. 
and if I may add, it's not only about the time. Usually in passing, I wonder if we're speaking about this yet. So. Yeah, I, I showed like, like the family feud test and uh, brain age to show like tests that aren't always going for. Uh, and often what happens is when you've got the uh, when you know how fast it's going to be at uh, fastest, you're also going to try to make it as entertaining as possible at that point. Yeah. Without losing any frames. Uh, sorry, just to introduce myself briefly, I'm Lot Blind, also known as uh, Swimmer on the Task Videos forums, and I've been um, <laughs> part of a, a small crew of people who have been um, putting together a little by little by little this uh, kind of uh, documentary thing ab about tassing, which is probably going to cover certain things that we're doing here today with Tompa. I unfortunately could not join him at the start. Um, of this session, mm. but um, I can already see a lot of things that the documentary is definitely not going to be covering or able to cover. So this is uh, it's very good. I think these will complement yeah. each other. Uh, I think I saw uh, a chat question earlier about um, is it possible to create um, uh, some kind of program that automatically autom um, kind of optimizes your yes. Uh, some tests have made uh, different bots to like test uh, randomness for you. You basically tell about, uh, use this address, I want this value. Go and test random inputs. And there's a uh, test of a game called King's Bounty for the Genesis, where the goal of the game is to find a treasure, and it can be located anywhere on the game game's map. So, uh, and you start on the game map, so if you're lucky, it, it can be right where you stand, and you find the treasure at once. So then, it, then it tell you about, I want the, the treasure to be on, on this position, this value for this address. And then we keep testing input until you get that value. Is it possible to take a look at uh, Biscuit's moon, uh, lunar pool? Uh, possibly, I haven't uh, checked anything. Do you know that one? Are we allowed to use the internet? Yeah, I'd like to use the internet, I suppose. Yeah, so, I mean, that, that, so why I'm mentioning that one in particular is because uh, that's kind of the extreme of what you can do with, tas uh, with uh, botting, which yeah. is this kind of automated checks and analyzing the results. And uh, Sprite, just uh, if, um, like how, do, how do you find new strategies, new clips, new glitches? Well, it, it's very different depending on the game. <laughs> like, uh, let's see how can I start this one. If you play this level normally, let's say yeah, I got the uh, Oh, I didn't have a fire plug or anything. So I know in the game that you can clip through these corners. That's a glitch in the game. So you want to... Normally you would go down here. And up to the elevator. And go and continue going. But then you might get the idea, like, hey wait, it might be faster to, to glitch through the wall here. So then you keep trying, like... Uh, you have to come up with ideas, it can be quite hard sometimes to... To think well, what might work in the game. Like a very common one is uh, corner boosting. If you jump up in the corner, the game will eject you forward. And in some games, this will push you forward a pixel or two, depending on the game. And if I might just add, so how to find tricks. Um, mm. uh, personally, uh, even though I'm working on this documentary, I'm not really a tester myself. I'm just sort of exploring it as I go. And uh, one of the things I've already found is that. Sometimes the best way to find tricks in a game is simply not tassing. It's when you just play it and you try different things in real time. It's much faster, so you can you can see that you're covering a lot more possibilities. Sure, it can't, it's not quite as uh, precise as if you were tassing, but you don't really know what you're going for to begin with, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. And then we, when you can, uh, what happens is you you notice, hey, that that looked a bit different from before. What happened there? And and then you can start exploring what what caused it. To be different that time. Well, uh, finding new things is. Uh, some people look into the game's code, like to see how things are made in the game, and then it can uh, come up with. Oh, it it says. Like it, it doesn't check for this item. Let's let's say you need five items at the end part of a game, but it only checks if you have one of them. That means oh, I can't skip the other four. Then you try to find ways to uh, how can we skip this item? And then it's just complete testing. Like w what can we do with this? And you guys mentioned the uh, Super Mario 64 tasks. 
one uh, percent sent uh, one from the star. That one is one big crazy product. It took them like three, four years, I think, to make, and they are like fifty different people. So it, it's a very recommended task to watch. It's insanely good. But another thing about uh, finding things, uh, I guess I can bring up. I didn't get anywhere, anywhere with this level anyway. It's, uh, it's going to take a while for me to test every every input to like come up with the fastest uh, strategy for it. So I'll, I'll explain that some other day for my own. We could, um, if we're not watching Lunapool, we could put the link in there or just the name of the task over there, I guess. Oh, what is the name of it? So Biscuit. Whoa. Uh, Luna Pool. Is it the one word? Uh, no, no, no. Biscuit is the runner. Uh, the oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You mean the game Luna Pool? I thought it was something. Yeah. Yeah, I can put later on. Okay. Uh, another example of uh, like finding uh, finding strategies, finding glitches. Let's see if I have the. Um, uh, Delta Mon, we're going to show it later. Yep. <laughs> so here's Donkey Kong Country for the SNES. Uh, this game has some uh, crazy barbs in it that I'm going to. Uh, oh wait, it desynced. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Or oh, whatever. Ah. Uh, well, then I can't be bothered with this. Right now they run these things, so um, even though I'm making input, the game doesn't uh, doesn't do what it's supposed to. Ah, oh, whatever. Uh, check for possible errors. Uh, what errors? Like uh, glitches in the game or bugs? Or do you mean mistakes in the task itself? Possibly. Cheat code, speed. Goodbye. Um, let's see if I can, I can say anything more about like this game in general. I'm sorry that this section is very confusing and un unplanned. Uh, I've been too lazy and too busy to uh, to make something good of it, so I just wanted to go to see what happens. That's the spirit of uh, passing, isn't it? You explore, just play around. Yeah. And some games, uh, you can basically make your own code in them. I don't know if someone of you guys saw the awesome games my quick 14 event with the task, uh, the task block. But it had Super World and programmed Pong and Snake in it. Uh, that exists for this game as well. And my buddy Lord Tom, who am, who am I working whom I'm working together with the, the task I was working on before. He made uh, a total control task. Well, this is a demo, basically, of it. Uh, the first part is just these levels in the beginning done fast. So it's called ar arbitrary code execution. And you can be, uh, you can do like anything in some games. So for the first uh, world here, this is going to be uh, nothing special, like it's going to be test, le levels test, levels done fast. But nothing uh, out of the ordinary. But it will happen some crazy stuff later on. And then uh, Lotom hadn't got time to, to finish this project, he was going, he was planning to first, but he got some, some stuff to take care of, so. This is only the demo. It's going to be much cooler and much interesting when he uh, when he is finished with the whole thing. So the plan, uh, the first part is, is to get to uh, level seven and one, and then the crazy stuff is going to happen. Do you, how much do you, oh, are you testing it? So, is there something you say about the X speed that you. X speed? In the RAM watch. 
I'm, I'm thinking like it is being maximized because I, I think is there some randomness to how much speed you have after certain like running or, am I thinking Super Mario 1? yeah oh I don't no, exactly I'm not sure like if it's random speed you get the speed is uh, always the same like um, All right, I, so I don't know what you mean exactly I think there's another game when you jump, then somehow after that jump you can have lost like a little bit of oh speed. Oh yeah, Super Mario Roller for example. Alright, there we go. Yeah. Okay, so now it's uh, going to uh, enter 7-1. And here's going to do a crazy setup with uh, the enemies. This may look completely random and uh, make no sense, but it has everything he does has a point. What he wants to do is to put enemies at certain positions in the game. And you're not supposed to go down pipes on the side, but when you do you can go to the, the Klitsu row. And here for some reason, if you enter a certain block, you can mess up the game's code a bit. I get the pause quickly when it's down here to show what he is doing. So right now, he's making a lot of different inputs here. He is uh, currently programming the game to something else. So each frame is doing something different. Also with the second controller. So let's see what happens. Looks normal so far. Now I can change anything. <laughs> so yeah, this is a bit fishy. Now I can uh, switch between up and down, up and down. So this is all theoretically possible in the game to do. He only used input presses to do all this. But this was just a quick demonstration to what you can do in the game. Uh, the final product is going to be uh, a lot more crazier. I've heard about his ideas. But that's, that's it for uh, that one. Uh, I can use uh, the glitches right now, but it requires the second controller and I don't have that one set up. And I don't know like his, um, the code he made for the game. So yeah, that is going to be awesome when he's done with it. Uh, there's no video of this... Uh, I, uh, this I don't want to provide his code. Like his, uh, his video for this one. That's up to Lord Tom to show you if he wants to. I'm not sure if he's around watching right now anyway. Say, Tompa. Yep. Do you think this will turn into Marvel sometime? Turn into? Marvel? The Taz? No, no, no. I want Taz Marvel. I know. I suppose you can. Oh, yeah. He has all the glyphs on, uh, on the overall. Like. This I can hear, they had two, uh, two bridges. I think I was always there. Oh yeah. And uh, the third one over there. Oh, that, that the was like, okay. So yeah, this is going to be very really nice when it's done with it. Um, we are currently in Kovde, Sweden. Oh, it's a blanket, bly anket. So I don't know if uh, it's something like you guys want me to uh, to talk about, to show, to explain anything. Uh, this was uh, quite messy, I know. Uh, did you mention Un the uh, people are joking about 
turning game into another game, but of course that's not just a joke. Oh, well, then. I talked about the... Uh, also give it a quick look. Okay, you did. Yeah, well, you were here. <laughs> like, well, you can program different games in another game with this code execution. Which is uh, pretty crazy. I can't move, I can't do anything. Some cool runs. Uh, let's see what we got. Um, I didn't prepare too many runs to, uh, to like to show, but if you go to the website testvideos.org, you can find a lot of different tests. You can find explanations to how um, how to do this, to find emulators, everything. Okay, the test editor thingy. Uh, well, I have never used the test editor personally. So I don't know many details of it, like uh, how to use it properly. It's basically just a, a tool for more efficient uh, creation. It, it looks like it's basically like you can imagine the uh, programming evolving from uh, assembly to higher level languages and things like that. It's got just more powerful tools for you to yeah. play around with. Uh, can't face you. Um, when you download the emulator, you get all the plugins you need for it. But you have to get the... Like, if you want to test Super Brothers, Super Brothers 3, you need a ROM first. And then it's only uh, emulator and ROM, that's all you need. For other emulators, like Dolphin, it's a GameCube and Wii emulator. You will need some, uh, some extra tools to be able to test properly. Uh, implicator waiting for the day somebody programs a game into another game. I think uh, th I think that mostly comes down to memory limitations. Yeah, like when you do this code execution, you have to um, you have to use the memory in the game to make something else, and you the memory is limited. So like for Super World, you can't you can't reprogram the whole game into the same game. There's not enough memory to do so. So there there are limitations what you can do. Um, it's a good Sega Master System test program. Well, there is an uh, emulator called Legends that has uh, Genesis, Sega Master System, Mega Drive. That one works. And the BizHawk is a multi platform emulator made by Adelicat. Shout out to Adelicat, by the way. He is the main man behind Task Videos right now, and he has made a lot of the emulators and tasks as well on the site. Uh, and BizHawk is really good because it can emulate many different platforms to make, to make it easier. Uh, of the earlier runs in this channel. I don't know. Look for them, bless you. Somebody was asking if they're going to be uploaded or voted. Yeah, they, they will be uploaded, all the, the videos on the Twitch. Uh, Aqua, I don't know the, the details of the memory and stuff. I think you can look that up pretty easily on uh, the interwebs. So I don't know right now. Uh, and yeah, that's a Nessus limitation. I don't know the details but, uh, of those things either. No. So yeah. Hot summer, yeah, me. No, I can't, literally. We've been talking about the new don't want to. platforms and things. New platforms. Well, we've been talking about Bizhawk. Yeah, Bizhawk, and uh, I mentioned the Dolphin with Wii and GameCube. Yeah, right. uh, and the, the shortest test ever. <laughs> There's a test of um, uh, okay. Minesweepers for the Game Boy. It's, I think, uh, 15 frames long, with its uh, a quarter of a second. I believe that's one of the shortest ones. What about uh, Clue? King's Bounty. Clue. King's Bounty is 9 seconds and 93 uh, milliseconds. You remember Clue? Clue, I can't remember how. Uh, which other one is. Show the test again. Which test? Turbo. Should we show the Luna Pool one before we forget? The Luna Pool? Okay. okay. Let's find another one. Um, I used this in the sets. So this is the main site, testvideos.org. You can find uh, latest runs up, Zella 2, Warpledge. Oh, Spelunky, I can show Spelunky. <laughs> and then Lunapool, that's the that one. Well, not the entire thing, obviously, just a tiny bit. 
Yeah, I've never seen him doing a pull before, so I don't know. Uh, well, I, I can explain. It's not much to explain, really. Okay. Spin a ball. Yeah. So, Lunar Pool, I had not known this game either before I saw the tasks. But, so this is the one, to remind you why it was mentioned, this is the one that's... I don't know if there's any other ones that have been 100% botted, probably, like, aside from whatever menu screen. So, um, when we get the video, it's, it's going to be... Okay, I'll just look in the screen. It's in. It's in. Yeah. Uh, what I think about Tass is that it uses hot, outer hotkey only. Uh, well, I, I use outer hotkeys to make it easier for me to Tass. Like, as I mentioned before, I haven't got enough fingers, and uh, too many keyboards have a limitation as how many buttons you can press at the same time. So being able to uh, use outer hold is very nice. It helps you out. I, I mean, I can just hold down the button like this. I wanna shoot some cows! Not shoot them. Uh, where's the... Wow, how do I... Where's the... There's no... Never see a way to, like... Close this. It's called Adbucker, yeah, I know. There's no Adbucker on this one, for some reason. Whatever it is. That's cool. Lunar anyway, this is a uh, <laughs> pool test. You can see most of it anyway. Yeah, so I think uh, the only goal here is to get rid of the, um, you know, of the balls as fast as you can. And uh, because it's... I don't exactly remember, it was, was there a further goal of trying to make it in as few shots as possible, or whether that's just a kind of natural result? They don't always go one in one. Uh, hand in hand, but um, but anyway, you can tell that with every shot, he, he has however many possible shots to make, like pa the power and the direction. So it would be completely, you know, it'd be it'd be really um, hard work, and you don't want to do that by hand. So you just uh, set the computer on the job. Tell him the computer what what you want to see. You want some kind of value to show up. Um, that tells you that, okay, the level is done, the next one is loading. And then you just leave your computer on for like a year and eventually you're gonna have a task like this. Yeah. As about uh, test of random inputs, it will be a lot of different inputs to test, so it takes a long time for about... So it's, fast, it's faster to do it normally than to have a program doing it for you. And uh, it's also very difficult to tell, even if you're doing... If you're trying to test this by hand, when you're getting closer to your goal, because uh, simply because you know you can you can f you can do. Um, we're not going to watch much of it, but uh, I believe there were some levels where the first shot actually doesn't exactly right there, doesn't even connect with a ball, but it's just ultimately the best solution. And uh, you know this is the kind of stuff that botting is ideal for. So this one goes on with 24 minutes. Yeah, it goes on, it goes on, yes. So do you want to see the uh, SMB3 test again? I guess I can bring that one up. Uh. Oh, by the way, there's something that might be quite interesting. So yeah, uh, there's probably been talk about what, what it requires of you to be a TASA and um, what kind of person would be casting and so on. Um, but like I mentioned before, even if you're not, so to speak, behind the wheel, um, I have personal experience of working with someone who did the actual tasking. Um, but what I was doing is just messing, or messing with the game at the same time, and I was able to find several of the tricks that ended up going into the final product. Uh, there was another guy who was kind of, who seemed to be very comfortable and, or familiar with uh, creating optimal routes suggestions for uh, the kind of 2D platformer and uh, yeah and I, I had the responsibility even for creating the um, main responsibility for creating the uh, 
resource page, which is just a kind of collection of chicks and that and the information that we've found. So you don't technically need to be able to use um, an emulator, or you don't need to do that in specific, even if you even if you want to be part of a of a team that does passing. Like mm. Tompa mentioned before, some, there was uh, some 50 person team, but yeah, for the SM64 one. Yes. That is the same task as I uh, saw before. We're just going to the end and uh, doing weird things. So I don't know the details behind like how they um, how they can do this. Oh, Kira, I, I hate Outer Scrolls so much. <laughs> okay, I mentioned before, I like to go go fast. I don't like to do I find entertainment things to do. I don't think I'm good at that. So I just want to keep saving frames. That's the only thing I care for. Save the frames. Uh, my favorite task I've been working on. Uh, it might be the minus cap or regular seasons. Both of all them took me a long time to do, and uh, I had to struggle a lot with the randomness and shots in the game, which I take as a good chance. Like I, I don't want this to be easy. I like want to struggle like weeks to save one single frame and stuff. So uh, yeah, that's my one of my favorite ones. I like working work on this game as well, most of the time. Is there times when you get frustrated or...? Well, I, I never get like mad when I'm tasking. It's more like... Yes. No, no, no. What? Mm -hmm. It just disappeared. Disappeared? Oh yeah. But uh, it can be frustrating sometimes when you try to do something and uh, like randomness, for example. And you you I, try and try yeah. and try and you never get the, the outcome you want for it, and it's so annoying. I broke the game. Oh, well, not I did. The old Tom did. Uh, and I think uh, Tom was at one point he was creating a task for a certain game, and like uh, there was a trick that he knew was possible. I think this is probably a very common situation to happen. You know that it's possible. We just can't find exactly whatever the memory, memory values that you need to manipulate and what man values you want and, and then be simply because you know it's possible it becomes impossible to move on with your task. Do you yeah. get it? Uh, when I go to test the CDI, well, the thing is all platforms don't have an em emulator to, to work on. There are like no CDI emulators with the task features because no one wants to make it pretty much. So uh, when there is one, sure I can, I can do it. Bring it on. <laughs> And the shortest time you need for a task, like, it's very different. Like, um, a game of Super Mario 64, a t task of that game, it has, it's much more complex than a 2D game, for example. And so that will take a bit more effort to do. So it, it can take days or it can take years, it depends. Loaf Nash, would you call tasking a form of masochism? Sure, if you call um, marathon running a form of mas masochism. But it's, uh, there's always that flip side to it, isn't it? The reward is the greater. All the greater. Yeah, that's the, the test again by Lord Tom. He's the man behind it. No. And that one is going to be more complex and more nice when he's done with it. That was just a, a quick demo. So what uh, what they can do, but they can do a lot more as well. I finished playing. Well, I have no more input to sh show you guys in that one. The total control Lord demo, Lord Tom demo. So that that's that's all. Well, I'll, I suppose like uh, unless the chat wants me to uh, to show something else or uh, talk about something else. I don't really have that much more to say, I guess. I know I've forgotten about like everything. Uh, a lot of people think, it's, like if someone wants to start a, a speedrun game, like a normal speedrun, they keep asking, oh, well, what games will I pick? The, the same thing is with, with Tassas. Like I always games don't start with, with a Tassa. And uh, like all games don't fit for Tassing. Platformers are usually the best ones. 
But along like um, RPG game, it takes forever to plan. It's usually not that interesting to watch, personally at least. And uh, just don't choose DOS as your platform. <laughs> Shout out to Larry. <laughs> He's a good guy though. Uh, yeah, there's a DOS emulator, but it, it's it's very hard to make a a DOS emulator correct, like optimized and good. Uh, there are some uh, Pokemon tests with Avatar code, yeah. There's one that's uh, the, the Pi test, 3.14. You can look for it, I guess. I don't have it around right now. But yeah, like a sports game, usually don't throw it, they are very bad tasks, like, you can't beat them fast, but there are some tasks with a sport game where you can do, like, entertainment things, that have a lot of bugs and stuff in them. There's one for the game, uh, Super International uh, Soccer something, I can't remember the name. But that one uh, aims to show how broken the game is, while doing some entertainment things. So uh, yeah, just pick some game and see if you if it if it can be entertaining. No, it isn't, Frankie. And pick a game you like. Yeah, pick a game you like. Like uh, all the games I'm testing are games I played during my childhood that I I like to play normally as well. Uh, to start a test of a game you ne never played is usually usually not a good idea. Oh, the most broken game. Well, that's that's very different. <laughs> the difficult to. Mm. Yeah, it's like it can be one, uh, uh, what do you call them, like um, a loophole which leads to a lot of more yeah. glitchiness. So it, it, it's it's very different. I, I can pick a game like that's the most broken one, that one has the most glitches. Just tell Tumper to be finished now and you can start setting up, right? Are you good, Tumper? Yeah, I think I'm good, I suppose. Uh, Suppose? Can you just give me a definite answer? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. He doesn't. He doesn't want to let go of this opportunity yeah, well. now. No opportunity. Didn't want to do it. I'm going to apologize in uh, advance. No, yeah, advance opposite. Okay, no. I did this, this tour was a bit messy and so I didn't have it, have it planned out good. Okay, and, uh, show the ISS task and we're going to be done. ISS? Yeah. Oh, that one. Okay, I'll bring it up then. Sure. Uh, international star, ah, soccer test, whatever. Yes. Knappen som du snart kommer att klicka på presenteras av yeah. Telenor Change. Sluta yeah, vänta. Is that in or? Right, cool. I tried it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ads. International super star soccer. Deluxe. Ad tracker is still on. Maybe it is. <laughs> you went straight to the boom. <laughs> what? I did? Okay. Uh, yeah, you think you did. I think you did. Oh. So this is uh, a game you won't normally make a test of. Because it's a football game. Those are boring. <laughs> Normal at least. But this game has some uh, interesting glitches in it. It uh, doesn't start at once. It takes like a few minutes for it to, uh, to get on the fun. So I think it starts pretty slow. I want to close this one. Go! Got. You like to watch some ads. I never noticed, but it is Brazil versus Germany, isn't it? Oh, go! Oh, I didn't look at that. All right, could have been Germany. So I don't think I'm going to show you the whole thing, but I can show you a few minutes. Yeah, 
Yes, yes, yes. No, it paused. What is this? What's going on? Just give him the give him the link and then can watch the rest sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I can just give you to it. I mean. Did I crash it? Stab him! No! <laughs> no, I'm going to die. Oh, anyway. You can watch it if you want to. Uh, it stops for me, so I can't see it. Uh, anyway, that's basically it for this task section. If you want to, to see some tasks, go to taskvideos.org. And if you have uh, more questions, you can PM me somewhere, anywhere. Boom. All right. So yeah, that's, that's Okay, it. so that seems I to guess. be the end of the task section, which means that we will now be setting up for the next hype thing, which will be the uh, recap number one. Recaps will be brought to you by Flicky and friends at the moment, but uh, before we actually go there, I'm going to remind you that you have just seen the European Seats Assembly TAS demonstration from Tompa. Tompa waving to the camera. And uh, Lopblind helping him with commentary. That was a nice wave, Lopblind. And uh, yeah, reminding you also that the European Speedster Assembly streamed live from Hövde in Sweden is collecting money for Doctors Without Borders, an international independent medical humanitarian organization delivering emergency aid to people affected by armed conflict, epidemics, natural disasters, and exclusion from healthcare. In ca just in case you didn't know what they did. <coughs> I'm sure you've heard of them somewhere, sometime. Like, uh, yeah, they're pretty well known, right? Um, I do wonder, Meridian, next to me, are, are you already getting ready to set up the interview for the uh, because you look kind of like non-moving interview has been ready it is ready as in it could start now as in I'm waiting for them until it's until they're ready and I take an interview okay I'll just believe you I'll also give you whoops I just dropped my fan I'll also give you a few further random facts about um, how your donations can make a difference namely they can for example add a zero percent